Hey guys and gals, what up? Today we're gonna to be looking at a lick using outside and inside picking. Let's take a look. Okay, so the concept of outside picking is that we're gonna be going up and around the strings. So if you look at what I'm doing on the fourth string here, I'm playing a down stroke, and then I'm up picking the third string. So with that first phrase, I'm playing four, five, seven on the fourth string, and then I'm back picking that four of the third string. And when I reverse that, I'm gonna go seven, five, four on the fourth string, and then end on seven of the fifth. However, you'll notice that on that string change, I'm landing on a back pick and I'll have this. So I'm going from a down pick on the fourth and an up pick on the fifth, which means I'm kind of trapped in between those two strings. So we've got our outside picking motion, which is going outside, and we've got our inside picking motion, which is going inside. And that's gonna carry us through the whole exercise. And I think it's good to get strong in both areas so that you're kind of really comfortable with alternate picking in any direction. And then if you need to, you can economy pick it. But I think, um, Sometimes we get trapped um, with our strengths being maybe more outside and more inside. I think this is a good way to sort of strengthen both of those muscles. So this is what we should have thus far. We want to repeat that phrase twice. Then I'm just gonna bring that up diatonically through the scale. So what I'll do is I'll show you the five notes that I'm working with and then we'll put the pattern to them. So I'll be playing five of the third. 975 on the fourth and then nine of the fifth and then if I start from the fourth string we're going to end up with this so we've got now the next phrase that I'm going to do once again I'll just show you the five notes and then you can add that pattern it's exactly the same all the way through I'm going to play seven of the third string and then 10, 9, 7 on the 4th, and then 10 of the 5th. If we add that outside to inside picking pattern, we're going to get this. Nice and predictable. The next group that I'm going to have, we're up to group 4 now. Yeah, this is the 4th group. Uh, I'm going to start from 9 of the 3rd, then play 12, 10, 9 on the 4th, and end on 12 of the 5th. So that's gonna sound like this if we add the pattern to it. Hopefully that's all making sense. And I know that's one of my catchphrases. Um, move on to the next one. It's kind of Lydian-y. Uh, I'm gonna start from 11 of the third string, then play 14, 12, 10 on the fourth, and then end on 14 of the, fourth str of the fifth string. So we're gonna have this. Nice and simple. Next one's kind of got a bit of a Dorian-y shape to it. I'm gonna be playing 12 of the third, and then I'm gonna be playing 16, 14, 12 on the fourth, and then ending with my ring finger on 15 of the fifth string with that pattern. Before we get too excited, let's have a look what we've got thus far, and there's only a couple of shapes left. Okay, then we've got two more. Uh, this one's gonna be very, very similar to what we had on the third. I'm gonna be playing t uh, 14 of the third string, 17, 16, 14 on the fourth, and then 17 of the fifth. All together. And then the last one, uh, I've got an octave of the first idea. So I'm playing 16 of the third, then 19, 17, 16 on the fourth, and then 19 of the fifth. So if we add the pattern to that. So if I didn't mention it earlier, it's a relatively generic exercise as far as, you know, melodically speaking, it's quite diatonic and there's nothing too interesting, exotic or outside note wise. However, we're just drilling this uh, outside to inside picking concept. Let's do it all again at a gentleman's pace and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. <laughs> One more 
more time with some tabs. <laughs> my outside to inside picking lick hope you guys enjoyed that please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and please click the links in the description box if you want tabs to this lesson and anything else that i do also have three books out now ultimate shred machine if you want to up your chops in shredding sweeping legato and tapping rock guitar mode master if you want to up your understanding of modes in a composed and improvised setting I also have my most recent book, Shred Guitar Improvisation, if you want to up your understanding of how to deal with chord ch changes and uh, different sequences and all of that fun stuff. And if you want all three books in one, I have them uh, in a definitive trilogy. Also, if you're not much of a reader, I have all three of those books in a video course format as well on Udemy and ChrisSuper.com, so you can always check those out. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. There will be more content coming soon. You guys all take care. See ya.